Something I admire about Jordan is his determination. If you know Jordan, you know if he says he's going to do something, he will do it. Whether it's becoming a firefighter for the IFD, CrossFit, or setting up the perfect date nights for Morgan, he will do it. And man, oh man, was he determined to be with Morgan. <laughs> I'm going to keep this pretty short and sweet and I'll avoid telling too many stories because I know there are a lot of children here, or at least a few, that look up to Jordan and their parents would like to keep it that way. <laughs> the first time they met, I brought them over to Swamp, which was what the house we called at the time, the football house. Whenever she first came to our house, going into senior year of college. I remember Jordan looking over at Trace with these huge eyes like, whoa. <laughs> Sure enough, we invited them to swim with us at Morgan's pool, and ever since that day, Jordan had not stopped talking about her. Time goes by, they try to deny their love for each other, they even tried out other relationships, always knowing it was supposed to be them. It's no question that a guy as cool as Jordan is, is going to have high standards for the person he's going to spend the rest of his life with. And, looking like Rob Schneider, I always worried he'd end up alone. <laughs> Fortunately for him, he tremendously outkicked his coverage and found a beautiful woman who is equally as cool as he is. Morgan had previously ended a relationship and Jordan instantly texted me asking if she was really single. Every day since that day, he constantly asked me about her. I was like, Jordan, she needs time, chill out. A week would go by and there he was again, like, hey, me again. At one point, I think I told him to give it up because she's not interested. I hear her. <laughs> Man. You like my dress? Yes, I love it. Oh my God. I can't wait to walk down the aisle with you. You look like your mother. 40 years ago. Oh gosh. Morgan, it feels like this day would never come, but finally, here I am standing in front of the most beautiful girl in the world. I still am confused on how I managed to trick someone who is twice as beautiful, smart, and compassionate as I am into marrying me, but we're here now, so. <laughs> There's no going back. Finally, Jordan sends me a rough draft of an, of an entire novel he was planning to send to Morgan for me to read over. <laughs> the cheesiest, sweetest, gushiest message I had ever read, basically begging her to go on a date with him. In that moment, I realized, wow, he big loves her. <laughs> Even though it may not be picture perfect to some, a route to get to this point has done exactly what it needed to do. It has allowed us to grow both as individuals and as a couple. It has allowed us to fall deeper and deeper in love, even on the days we felt like we had no love to give. It has allowed us to become one, one family, and quite literally feels like one person sometimes with how much we act alike. See this one, this little, I feel like this ever needs to go under that. You support me and love me in all the best ways you know how. Even on the days, <laughs> even on the days that I am hard to love, you remain patient, gentle, and kind to me. I feel safe when I'm with you. I'm so grateful to be loved by you and to spend the rest of my life with you. You are everything I could hope for in a husband and more. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> you look gorgeous. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. I believe that love is not just something we feel, but also a choice. We have faced some trials in our relationship that we grew a lot from and have made us even stronger than before. I know that we will face other inevitable, difficult times in our lives. But if we choose to love one another, I believe there is nothing strong enough to break what we have built.
after we kind of rekindled that flame, I think it was probably the first time I told her that I loved her, that I knew, you know, like obviously it's a forever kind of love, so. So we sent that message to her and sure enough, she fell for him and the rest is history. Now we are here today celebrating these two beautiful souls, Mr. and Mrs. Brown. We all dream in every color, searching for Above all else, I promise to love you at your worst as much as I'll love you at your best. And I can't wait for the days to come with you by my, by my side every step of the way. I will trust you, I will care for you, but most importantly, I will always love you, Morgan Sierra Brown. I love you so much, Jordan Patrick Brown. <laughs> Let's get married. <laughs> Let me kiss your beautiful bride. One thing I love about them is they're always laughing together and pulling pranks on each other. I know you guys will laugh your way through the ups and downs of life together. It's so easy to see that you two are crazy about each other and I'm honored to call you both my friends. Here's the happy couple, I love you guys. Through highs and lows and every struggle We scaled these walls and jumped through hurdles There's no surrender, no defeat Dreams come. I couldn't be happier that the two of you ended up in this situation that we were in. I truly love both of you so much. Cheers to Morgan and Jordan. I can't wait to see what life has in store for the two of us and eventually three, four, or even eight of us. <laughs>